as a foundation for improved decision making. So, when you wanted to make further decision to improve your home, you should have proper information about that. So, it should have serve as a foundation for you. And then the business community must accept the data warehouse if it is to be de deemed, uh, deemed successful. So, how to understand our customer? First thing is, let us say, you as a business analyst man. Now, I am sending uh, Hilal or uh, Sy Syed or Balu to a company. You guys tell me how you are going to understand your customer. I'm trying to understand the business, but as I told you, the hint is, you will have to go with two approaches. It is user driven approach. Other is data driven approach. That is what I told you, right? Go and talk to the homemaker. She can give you information. The second way is, take a data driven approach. Perfect. Perfect. What you are telling is right. Let me recap that. I am trying to find out their priorities. That is where I have to go and question. Saying, are you able to access your financial information? What is the priority? Perfect. What you told is entirely correct. Except one thing is, you are not going to identify if they require a data warehouse. Already they decided they want a data warehouse. All you are trying to do is, now you are trying to find out the purpose of their data warehouse. So you will have to talk to your customer two ways. One is user driven approach. You talk to your customer, he will give you information. Like let us take it into the real scenario. You are going to talk to uh, your mother and father. They will tell you, we have one fridge, we have one refrigerator, we have one microwave, we have two beds. Fine, they are telling it. Is that true? So what you will do is, the business analyst will go and look at the data actually, which is your equipment or items. So that by sampling, he know, they would have not told him entirely. Because we will be very optimistic saying, the everything will go in a single truck. But that will never happen. We will estimate saying, uh, one trip is enough for moving entire data at a time. No. If you take a sample data and profile it, you will know. Then you as an engineer, you will have to architect the proper solution. So that is where actually uh, you will have to uh, make your uh, data warehouse agile. It should be able to accept things. It should be uh, able to be resilient for changes. So you will have to take both the approaches. Like understand your users by business area job responsibilities and computer tolerance because there can be few people who are not non-technical they are just only marketing folks so they don't understand uh, uh, anything in the computer related uh, subject so you'll have to actually also quantify the users saying the business users by job responsibility business area and their tolerance Determine the decision the business users want to make with the help of the data warehouse. That is very important, right? The third one, identify the best users who make effective high impact decisions using the data warehouse. So who will be the most effective person who will be using the data warehouse? It is none other than my VP, my, my CEO, who will make decisions looking at the data. So I will have to answer him. See, for a CEO, he will not say, he will not ask you a uh, gory details, how many employees I have, how many are coming every day, how many are taking too many of leaves, how many promotions this guy has got. He is not bothered about that. Finally, I have spent 100,000 on my business this month. Whoever may be working, what is my expenditure, what is my revenue, what is my gross, what is my net profit, that's all he needs. So you will have to actually go and talk to the high impact decision makers who is going to use the data warehouse. That is where he needs a summary of the data. He is not going to look into your each and every detail. He is going to look at the summary. Find potential new users and make them aware of the data warehouse. So while building the data warehouse, don't only talk to the CEO. Talk also to the persons like your family, your mother, father, in-laws, your brother, children. Also talk to them. They will come up with a new requirement. CEO doesn't know that. Because if you talk to your kid, she will say, I want a bed. On side of it, I want a big rack where I can mount my Mickey. That is very important for her. In the same way, if you talk to your uh, mother, she will say, oh, you have all this grinder, mixy, blender, everything. But I still want my own ding chick. Without that, I cannot survive. That is your mother's requirement. Just the pounding mission kind of thing, where you pound or grind things manually. So, it is you'll have to think about all this before building a data warehouse. 
choose the most effective actionable subset of data to present in the data warehouse drawn from the vast universe of possible data in your organization so don't try to get every data that is available in your database then your data warehouse is not not going to accept it right if you have five refrigerators why do you want to get all the five and dump here it will look my, like my virus data, data warehouse which i have built there so instead say okay the, let us look at most powerful appliances out of five refrigerator refrigerators this is the old godrej this is the latest samsung it is most advanced most capable energy efficient and everything so choose the most effective actionable subset of data to present in data warehouse draw from vast universe to possible data in your organization so all you'll have to do is you'll have to look at the entire data before you make a decision and then uh, uh, get only the required data make the user interfaces and application simple and template driven explicitly matching to the user's cognitive processing profiles this is the important point and that at the same time syed has joined the bi person will be doing this he want the interface he want the front end the ceo wants a colorful report he doesn't want your numbers he want it to see his beauty uh, in the report so you will have to give him a template saying this is uh, will be put on so and so plate and you will have to do it it is more like the meals plate in india it has a certain racks everyone knows that rice is served in the main plate and the curries are served around and there will be curd given separately it is the same way so explicitly matching the user's cognitive process profiling cognitive is user will come up with a lot of ad hoc queries so you must be able to uh, your your data warehouse must be resilient to that and uh, it should be user adaptive so make sure the data is accurate and can be trusted labeling it labeling it consistently across the enterprise so how you qualify the data only if you run it through a quality process if your approach is proper then you can say this is the accurate data any any business user and hr person or in a sales person or a finance person pull the information it should be the same it should not show two more reports for that so continuously monitor the accuracy of data and and content of deliver uh, delivered reports what he has to contribute and what you will have to present first we thought we we did we i mean first few points is about your customer how do you approach him how do you get it the second part is how you present it continuously monitor and monitor the accuracy of data and search for new data sources and continuously adapt the data warehouse to changing data profiles reporting requirements and business priorities so user may say i have a useless system which i used 20 years back i don't want the data but still go you are you have the data driven approach you are the business analyst you have to profile the data business may think it is a useless data but you must be able to go check the data and accommodate it in your data warehouse because at last uh, the the user will come back and say oh sorry sorry i missed to actually add one more database i do have uh, some data in my hard drive you must be ready to accommodate that you, you will not understand if you say no 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 i cannot accommodate it he is not going to understand that he want it so be be ready for those changes now you are going to plan i mean it is same as now you compare back to back to pavilion compare the truck which you wanted to drive the uh, equipment from your single family from your apartment to single family home talk about how many laborers you wanted to uh, resource for that Uh, talk about what software you wanted to use for your reporting purpose or etl purpose talk about the hardware expense uh, expenditure like the moving boxes the ceiling tape uh, what not for the fragile equipment you want more thermocoils around it that is what we are talking so you will have to make that estimation you will have to understand whether the customer is ready to spend that much or not he will expect very quality a data but if he is not going to spend money he is not going to get the same quality right we have 10 source systems each source system we have this much volume of data so i am going to rent four trucks i am going to say i will have four servers which can move this data into the target system and priority wise which has to come first which has to come next take that everything with your business talk to them explain them that's what that statement says So finally, pub publish the data on a regular basis. 
so you started moving the equipment but then you have to keep updating them because so you will have to keep publishing the data for regular basis for them to understand maintain the trust of business user how do you maintain the trust if you publish the statistics properly then they are happy or if you go end of the day and say uh, instead of going for five trips we made eight trips he will be not happy with it you will have to mention him after the fifth trip Oh, I, it seemed to be I require three more trips to get this data. Uh, our estimations were off by like 10%, 20%. It is tolerable. So keep your business users, executive sponsors and boss happy. If you make them happy, you can be a long standing resource for them, right? So you'll have to do also that. Finally, let us look at the basic architecture of a data warehouse. All now we talk, talk, talk so far is about planning. Any questions so far, guys? Uh, while we plan for the data warehouse how we understand a customer and plan for the data warehouse no 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 the data warehouse actually the purpose it should be used by everyone in the in the uh, uh, in, in your company or in your organization but then as i told you it is priority based first thing is you'll have to look at your potential areas revenue generating areas like you want it to use for your financial system you want it to use for your production system, marketing system. Later comes on the customer service. Later comes on the call center. Later comes on the cloud computing. Followed by everything like this. So there are two approaches. Top to bottom and bottom to top. When we look at that, you will understand what is the better approach and how do we build, uh, slowly increase the data warehouse. Instead of doing all at once, it is always better keep adding one by one. Yeah, see, data warehousing is for, I can say, uh, more like uh, medium scale companies, not for the small scale. But every small scale will one day turn as a large, medium or large scale, right? Then they will go for data warehousing. The reason I say this is, if you are only three people living in a home, why do you want a 20 bedroom apartment or 20 bedroom single family home? It is the same way. Because your three bedroom apartment is more than enough, you are happy, you are living there happily. So you don't want to invest on, uh, on uh, millions of dollars building a 20 bedroom home. So it's the same way. So it is more when you start improving your business, when you start acquiring different business, then you will feel the importance of data warehouse. Or else your pretty well your OLTP system can answer every business question when the data is small, when the data is properly organized. So the BI environment to answer your question, the presentation layer is not only dependent on data warehouse. The presentation layer can excellently perform on an OLTP system. Like business intelligence, it doesn't need a backend as a data warehouse. It can also fetch data from your operational system, which is your OLTP system. That is fine. Only if the data is too big, if you have too many organizations under you, like an HR, like a uh, separate marketing team, sales team, production team, you cannot drill across. You cannot, you'll have to count them separately. You'll have to see how much you invested them separately. If for everything, there is a separate database. It is more like relate yourself. If your family, entire family, including your in-laws, parents, everyone in single family home, you can uh, do a festival easily. But if they are spread across, you have many things to take care to celebrate a, a festival. SAP is a one-stop solution for everything, your HR, your ERP, your CRM, it can do everything. But you'll have to buy certain modules from SAP, right? SAP is a package. So the target could be again SAP, which is a business warehouse, where it is more of a data warehouse environment. There is one module of SAP, which is business warehouse, BW. BW is the most important part where it helps in the multi-dimensional model and it helps the business to make decisions. But still they want to build a data warehouse because not that only SAP is the source system. There is non-SAP systems also. There is a lot of data in non-SAP systems, right? So they have to migrate into one target environment like Teradata or, or they can use SAP as their target. That is also possible like SAP BW. Uh, they can use Oracle as their target. But all we are trying to do is get all the data into one place and try to look it in different dimensions. Look it as, as a CEO, look it as a VP, look it by market, by time, by product, 
everything the data has to be multi dimensional so that whoever looks at it has his own vision to the business okay here is a perfect architecture i call it basic the reason is we'll have to dig into it before we talk about anything uh, i mean in detail so this 